Hi class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about compositions of isometries. So this is going to be um, where we take different types of transformations and stick them together, compose them together. So an isometry, or um, we've called them rigid motions, is a transformation that preserves distance or length. So in the transformation, the shape does not, um, does not change size or shape. It stays the same size or shape. Translations, reflections, rotations are all isometries or rigid motions. We're going to call them isometries now. <laughs> All right, a composition of isometries is when we combine the transformations one after the other. So an example for the notation, really important that we understand our notation of a composition of isometries. So here's an example. Reflection of triangle PQR across the x-axis after it's translated down three units. So this is written as here. We've got a reflection across y equals zero, our x-axis, and then an open circle. That little open circle means it's composed with the other transformation, which in this case is a translation, zero horizontally and negative three vertically. So three down, and here's our triangle PQR. Really, really important. The order is backwards. When you see the notation of a composition of isometries, you actually have to do the second um, isometry first and then do the first. So here we would do the translation first and then reflect it. Okay, so let's look at an example. We're going to graph the coordinates of triangle DEF and then uh, do the two uh, reflections. So here we have negative 1, negative Four, so negative 1, 1, 2, 3, negative 4. So here is D. All right, so we have E at negative 2, negative 5. And F is at negative 4, negative 3. All right, so here is triangle DEF. Now, when we're reflecting, we did a video on reflections a couple videos ago, so you can go back and review. Uh, reflection across y equals negative 2. We always want to draw our line of reflection. So here's y equals negative 2, and I'm going to reflect it across this line. So d is going to go straight to the line and all the way on the other side. So here's d prime. E prime, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we count how far it is from our line of reflection and then count the same distance on the other line. So F prime is one to the line, so one after the line. So here is our first reflection over that line, Y equals negative two. Now, um, oh, you know what? I have a couple different, let's color the next one green. All right, so now I have the line y equals 2. So y equals positive 2 is going to be here. Again, we want to always draw our lines of reflections. It always helps. All right, and then reflect that second one, d prime, e prime, f prime, over that line. So here we've got d double prime, e double prime, and one, two, three, one, two, three, F, double prime. So here is our resulting figure, and look at the resulting figure compared to the pre-image, the very first DEF that we started with. So here, our theorem states that a composition of reflections across two parallel lines is actually just a translation. So we can write this composition of reflections if we want to. We can say, okay, so I have two reflections. Now again, we have to write the second reflection first. So we did y equals two first, and then we do a little open circle, and then the first one was y equals negative two. So there's our composition of reflections. 
then we have triangle DEF, and then triangle D double prime, E double prime, F double prime. So there is our composition of reflections, but we could have also written this as a translation. So our translation, well, to get from one to the next, I translated this. Let's see, this ended up all the way at one, two, three, four. So we went from negative four to positive four vertically. We didn't translate anything horizontally. So zero, positive eight, it traveled eight up, of triangle DEF equals triangle D double prime, E double prime, F double prime. All right, let's look at our second example here. So we're going to start with DEF. So let's graph that. So negative one, negative four is D. E is negative two, negative five. And F is negative four, negative three. So the same triangle that we started with last time. All right, and then let's look at what it wants us to do this time. So we've got reflect over y equals negative two. So that's the same thing we had to do last time. We draw our reflection, y equals negative two. And I go one, two, one, two. So there's my d prime. And e prime, one, two, three, one, two, three. And f prime. And here is our first reflected figure. Now the second reflection, again, I'm going to change the color here and make it green, just so it's a different color for us. Uh, they want us to reflect it over the line x equals 0. Now this x equals 0 is actually just the y-axis. So this time we have our two lines are not parallel that we're reflecting. So let's reflect this second figure over that new line. So here's d double prime, e double prime, and one, two, three, four to the line. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four on the other side of the line, f double prime. All right, and there is our resulting figure. Now, if we look at our first figure and our second figure, this from D to D prime is, uh, let's see, let's see if I can draw this. If I draw a line from D to D prime, it's a line that goes straight through that intersection point there. And if we draw all of our other lines, it's going to give us the same result. It's going to be a line that's straight through. And if we remember back to our other videos, our last couple of videos, this is actually a rotation of 180 degrees. So a composition of reflections across two intersecting lines is a rotation. Now it's not always a rotation of 180 degrees, it happens to be a rotation of uh, the two angles between the lines. So in this case, my lines were perpendicular. So if I take a 90 degree and then another 90 degree between our two figures, that's going to give us 180 degrees. So it's like adding those angles together. So um, we could write the composition of reflections as a rotation. The rotation in this case would be a, let's see, rotation is lowercase r, and we have our angle, which is 180 degrees, and our center of rotation, in this case, is the point 0, negative 2, 0, negative 2. So we've got kind of a more complicated there. And then triangle DEF equals triangle D double prime, E double prime, F double prime. All right, so a little bit more complicated there, but as you can see, our two reflections ended up as a rotation in this case. All right, so the last piece of our lesson is what we call a glide reflection. So any composition of isometries can be represented by either a reflection, a translation, a rotation, or a glide reflection. And if we think about the word glide reflection, a glide reflection is 
A composition of a translation or a glide and a reflection across a line that has to be parallel to the direction of the translation. So there's kind of the kick uh, that we have to make sure is true that our reflection is across a line parallel to our direction of translation. So let's look at this last example here. We have the coordinates of triangle ABC and then we want to do our glide reflection. So A is going to be at negative 1, negative 3. B is at negative 4, negative 1. And C is at negative 6, negative 4. All right, so here is our pre-image ABC. Now, remember when we do a composition of transformations, or uh, of, yeah, transformations, we want to do the second one first. So in this case, we have a reflection and a translation, but we want to do the translation first. And they want us to go 10 horizontally and nothing vertically. So I'm going to go 10 in the horizontal direction. So I'm going to, let's just take A from negative 1 all the way to positive 9. So there's A prime. B goes from negative 4 to positive 6, so I'm just adding 10 horizontally. And C goes from negative 6 to positive 4. C prime. All right, so here is my translation. Oops. And I went horizontally. So my direction of translation was horizontal, which means in order for this to be glide reflection, I need to reflect it over a horizontal line. Now the x-axis, it's telling me to reflect it across the x-axis, is a horizontal line. So there's my x-axis, which is parallel to my direction of translation. So we are good there. Let's reflect it over. So we've got B double prime, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, A double prime, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, C double prime, and there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, that concludes our lesson for today. And remember, math is fundamental.